So rough muscular structure in the gizzard for grinding with the help of the pebbles, stones, eaten alongside the grain. So these are, these are on the feature of um, specimen. Um, okay, but well, one thing again I must know about is the production. Very important. Just uh, cut my mind that the one act question, okay? And this one organism is not a hemophilia, it has male and um, female, okay? Most of the, if you look at two pigeon, male pigeon and male, female pigeon, I feel that the male pigeon appears to be more colorful than the female, okay? Female do appear to have dark color. Males have more bright color, okay? You see the color more appear to be more designed in the male than the female. So this is a clear case that uh, before, before mating, there, there, there is kind of courtship, okay? Courtship, there must be courtship prior to mating. Okay? The female, the male must have a way to, to exhibit itself, display itself uh, before, prior to mating. Okay, uh, 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 fertilization or uh, what do you call it? Reproduction does not just happen in this class of vertebrates without mating. Okay, now because it's an organism that can that can fly up to sky. So there's one chemical substance that is most likely secreted by the male by the male 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 that that attracts the female birds, female pigeon. That chemical substance is called pheromones. 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 Okay, it's a type of hormones, a scented hormone. Okay, that this scent attracts the female prior to mating. Prior to mating, and with the display and with the color for the males, the females are attracted prior to mating. Now listen, reproduction here is external external fertilization i mean external fertilization because the egg the egg is fertilized okay it's not a case where unfertilized eggs are laid okay so the late fertilized egg and like this fertilized egg are kept in a place where they incubate it until it is hatched to to young ones so this fertilization is a type of sexual so in which the sexual production but fertilization is internal okay fertilization is internal fertilization then when you look at agama lizard there's another class of vertebrates for agama lizard let's start with the characteristic features of agama lizard agama lizard is a male lizard okay is a male lizard male lizard male lizard Okay, the difference between the male lizard and the female lizard is that the male lizard is also colorful. Sometimes you see a male, a gamma lizard having some kind of fine colors, red, red, green, pink. Okay, you see it in most dozer part of the skin. Okay, with the reddish or orange hair. So these are the kind of um, feature you see. Even the tail appears to be also colorful. The only part of this lizard that is tall is the ventral ventral feature. Okay, now he has four body divisions, the head, the neck, the trunk, and the tail. That is what you can see that is observable in, in male lizard called a gamma lizard. Okay, now, then if you look at this um, lizard, you'll have find that it has teeth. Here there's no teeth. Okay, there's teeth, but just that the teeth are all the same. Small teeth. This is the type of dentition here. Is the dentition here is homodont. In case if you ask what type of dentition is homodont dentition. Okay, now in homodont dentition, it appears that the teeth are the same. The teeth are the same. I forgot to tell you something about um, 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 uh, what do you call it um, in terms of uh, blooded. Between this and this, which one is called blooded? The yes. pigeon which belong to birds are one blooded animal. So what type of um, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't know how the question is. Not that this is one blooded organism or a mutant organism. Why this is a cold blooded organism 
a home model. This does not have teeth. What it has, and what replaces it is the beak. The beak. So this is cold blooded animal or poikilotanic. 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 Another name for poikilotanic is cold blooded animal. Remember that the teeth is home model. The same teeth. Home means the same. Don't means uh, the tissue. Okay. Now, just like in, in pigeon, they are prior to, to mating, the male display. So, their mating form is by display. That's pigeon display. Display. Then, Agama Lisa mates by what is called territoriality. Yes, territoriality is a form of um, mating whereby one particular lizard takes territory of a particular place okay, in which no other male lizard is allowed to, to, to come in that territory where the, the lizard that is taking occupant of the, of the territory is still around. So this is the form where the most likely, the fact the male, the male agama lizard fights to win the territory. So the fighting gives a, a, a sign to the male uh, lizard, to the female lizard, for to be in readiness for mating to go on. So the, the, the K is display, L is territoriality. Territoriality is most common in Agama lizard, or most common in reptile. Okay, that is on that. The fertilization is also internal. Internal fertilization. In internal fertilization, Egg of fertilized egg. Both lays fertilized egg. Both lays fertilized what? Egg. So because they lay fertilized egg, there is one thing you must know about parity. Now we have something we call oviparity, oviparity, and viviparity. Viviparity. Okay. Oviparity and viviparity. Now, in these two class of organisms. Specimen K is oviparity, L is oviparity. Why K is oviparity? Because they lay egg. Even tilapia is also oviparity because they lay egg. But these two oviparity is so obvious that the egg are fertilized. But this oviparity is not that obvious because eggs are unfertilized. So fish that lays unfertilized egg has a type of Oviparity called external fertilization. So fertilization here is internal, here is internal, here is external. Okay, here is also internal. So here internal, internal, internal. So in terms of oviparity and viparity, this, this, and this, in fact, K, L, and N is oviparity, where N is viviparity. And viviparity, the organism does not need, like rats here, does not, do not need to lay egg. They give birth to their young ones alike. They don't lay eggs, so that's why they have viviparity. Okay, now looking at the other uh, characteristics. Okay, most of you should know that all of them, K, L, M, apart from M, the respiratory structure for one, two, three is long. Yes, respiratory structure for K, L, and M. K, L, and M is lungs for gaseous exchange. But for this is what? Gill. Take note, it's very important. Very important to know that. Okay. Now, the form of nitrogenous waste removed by pigeon, K, gamma lizard, this to one, two. The form of nitrogenous waste they remove is uric acid. The waste product they remove is uric acid okay wild rats is urea okay tilapia fish is also urea or ammonia so these are the things you must be aware of okay now coming to rats let's look at the observable feature of rats what and what is observable the one thing that you know about rats that the skin is covered with hairs okay that's what makes sense they also has mammary gland he has four body division, the head, the neck, the trunk, and the tail. Okay? 
position of eye, position of whiskla, whiskla, which is very sensitive. Whiskla, whiskla from mouth, very, very sensitive. Okay, most rats appear to be dark, black. But that's black, black skin is also an adaptation for camouflage. You know that rats is a nocturnal animal. Nocturnal animal. Nocturnal animal means animal that is active at night. So the skin will also help with that. It, it, it will be difficult for its predator to identify them at what? At night. So it is an adaptation. So there are so many things you see about uh, you see in rats like four four legs or two pairs of walking legs. Okay. You see hairs and hairs all over the skin. You see nose. There's mouth. There's eye. There's pinna. Pinna means external what? Ear. But that's are the things observable in rats. What we need most about rats is that rats is a warm-blooded animal. Warm-blooded animal. I repeat, warm-blooded animal. Warm-blooded animal. K is warm-blooded. L is cold-blooded. M is warm-blooded. N is cold-blooded. I repeat, warm-blooded, cold-blooded, warm-blooded, cold-blooded. Okay. Then what type of dentition is here? Okay. Dentition here is heterodont. Specimen M is heterodont dentition. Heterodont. Heterodont. Then dentition. Please take note. That is, they appear to have different sets. Of teeth. Okay, now for N, let's look at this observable features of tilapia fish. Okay, the body is covered with scales, scales, scaly body. Okay, scaly body is for protection. Okay, compound eyes for seeing, mouth is for um, mouth is for feeding, and also we are taking oxygen for respiration. Okay, what else? Upper column protects the gill. Okay, streamline body, lateral line for dictation, tail fin for movement, coda fin for tail fin for steering, coda fin for steer movements, and also changing direction. It appears that the skin, the dozer part is uh, is black or dark grey, while the ventra is white, is silvery. Okay, this is also kind of adaptation so that. Other animal that stays underneath, we think that the color appears to be the same with water. Those that are up, we see it as the same color with water. So it appears not to be easily seen by its predator. Okay, this is one thing you are going to write if you are asked to state the observable feature of specimen, specimen N, which is tilapia fish. And then also, like I said, I've said it before, that this is an oviparous organism, but the only that fertilization is external. The rest three are internal. Only this is external because all fertilized eggs are laid prior to fertilization, boom, very broad, production. Okay, now when you come in terms of parental care, parental care, now let's start with this. Parental care here exists here. Okay, but only that parental care is not extensive, but it exists. Parental care is non existent here. Parental care exists here. It's more intensive than pigeon. The parental care is non existent. So here, parental care exists, but not extensive. Here, parental care do not exist. Okay? Here, Parental care exists, but more intensive than K. Here, parental care is non-existent. So here, L and N non-existent. Then K and N it exists, but it is more it is more extensive in M than K. Please take note. At least you should know that this particular class of mammal feeds its young one with a. Uh, it's a breast milk. Okay, I don't know whether I classify this. 
Rat belongs to class mammalia. Don't know. Mammalia. Mammalia. Okay? Mammalia or mammals. That is the class to which this belongs. Now, one thing I want to do now, which is last on um, this um, video, in terms of evolution, in terms on how they evolve, the first vertebrates on out of K and N, the first vertebrate is N on N. The all aquatic N, which is tilapia. Tilapia fish. The second vertebrate on earth after tilapia here is a gamma. A gamma. Okay, remember there is where you have a toad. Toad is a specimen. Because toad is also supposed to be here. Okay, so toad is specimen B. So I'm going to write specimen B. This one is for toad. So after fish, toad. After toad, then we have uh, after toad, the next vertebrate on X is Agama lizard. Agama lizard, that is specimen L. Agama. Agama, Agama. Okay, that was the botanical name. After Agama, Agama, the next vertebrate here is pigeon. Is pigeon that is K pigeon pigeon the last vertebrate on X that is M and M is what right please arrange it in order of evolution first is tilapia second is toad third is gamma uh, next is pigeon last is rat this tilapia belongs to class of apes. Toad belongs to class of rep uh, amphibian. Gamma gamma belongs to class of reptilian. Pigeon belongs to class of apes. Rat belongs to class of mammal. Please thank you for watching. I will see you again after your exam. Please recommend this video to SSC students, those special those that will be writing uh, this year's uh, NECO exam. This piece of uh, work will be very useful to our esteemed viewers. Thank you for watching.